<clears throat> and uh, my wife noticed the front gutter on the house and the water was uh, not going in the gutter and then we I noticed let me show you something a board fascia board was not lined up straight on that stud so those nails are no longer holding the board so the fascia boards pushing out well if you look can you see daylight back there okay that's on the other side of the gutter all right now what happens is you can start seeing a daylight all the way through that way all right well this board pushed out that way and it's pushing all the gutter out now as an example, I'll try to show you something. Have you ever noticed when you pour a cup of coffee real slow, how it runs down the glass and not out like it's supposed to? Well, this is the same thing. When you have light rains or rain coming in, it's supposed to, sh normally water will shoot off straight down in the gutter, but it really doesn't. It actually rolls. When it goes down the, the, when it goes down the uh, shingles, it actually curls and goes under some and then drips when it's slow. Well, that's what's happening. It's curling under and dropping and dropping along the face. And you can see the gap. And you can see the same gap as what this is. All the way through. And you can see it kind of starting right there. And right here is starting to pull away. And then you look at the bottom of your gutter. And you can see the bottom of the gutter is all wet. Why, honey? Why, honey? Why? Now, only one person I can blame for that is me. And I'm going to show you the mistake I did. You can see that. That there is a uh, 4 by 6 beam. All joints should be dead square in the middle. As you can see, this joint is not. It's over this way. So, so um, the joint, it should, if it was put dead center in the middle, uh, the joint, you know the the the, uh, the the cut I wouldn't have this problem where it chipped away what I'm gonna have to do now is um, I'm probably gonna take I've got long drills I got like foot long drills I'll probably drill in this way sideways drill into that board because nailing it will not do it I have to be able to pull all that in let me see something see how that's separated a little bit too it's all because of this board. So I'm gonna have to put another screw here. But I'll show you what I've got. And then I'll have to rehang the gutters. And what's happening is that's ripping the nail out of the fascia board, the way that board's pushing out. And if you look how nice and tight everything else is, all the way down, right here's an issue because of this. So I'm gonna have to show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to have to use a long screw. I don't, I don't have shorter ones, but I'll show you. It's probably going to be about 12 inches long, and it's going to have a big hex head on it. That way, it pulls on it, and it's going to drive it right on in. And I'll have to do the same to pull that in, too, so it pulls them together. Let me go in. Look, at you can see the bottom of the gutter, how it's kind of whitish color. You see how that's dirty? You see the stains where water's been dripping down? see it so that's the problem over here water stain right there so and one right there so that's what we're gonna have to do to fix this um, big thing is cedar cedar wood is excellent wood uh, it lasts a long time it doesn't rot but if they're not dried I think when you put cedar you want 12% and your lumber dry, dryness and if it's not in that area and if it's I mean there's a good chance you can have a warp board you know when it dries it warps and that's what's happening it's dried out further it's really hard to see by probably by camera but I can definitely see how the board is pushed out right there I can see the daylight between the gutter and the fascia board right there so let me gather up the stuff I need to do so now, these are the screws I'm going to use. Very coarse. This is actually what they use to build log homes with, these bolts. And you see a big, uh, the big head on them. And it does come with a, you do have to use a, um, a hex head. Let me show you what hex head. Right here. There's your hex head. 
and that fits and gets a really good bite really good bite okay now here's the thing drilling a whole one of these straight on through I don't have a strong enough gun to do that and, but I do want it to flow fast and pull quick so what I'm doing is I've got a drill bit okay I don't want to drill a whole thing because I want these threads to grab but what I'm doing is I am laying the drill bit here I want to put the head you see that black line I made that's marker all right, that's as deep as I'm going to drill. I'm not going to drill this part of thread. I want the thread to take over and pull everything in. So this is my mark. I'm going to take this drill. I'm drilling this deep through all the wood. And then when I hit to that marker, I stop. And then I'll put, this is how it's going to look. And I will have to drill, screw this in the rest of the way. All right, I'm going to drill a hole in through this beam all the way up into here. You see me stop right there. Okay. That screw will go in there. It'll screw it, it, it's, it'll go in there. It's very easy to move in. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go drill that other hole on that other one. And I'll show you that one has to be at a sideways angle. Now I'm gonna change the bit. I'm going to put a torque spin on. There we go. See that sucked that right in there? That's black. These get all this fossil this stuff's getting painted again, stained again. You won't see it. So now I need to go draw that other one in over here. Here we go. There we go. It's you seen it sucked that in too. So we're we're now this is resecured, it's solid, and now we can see what happened up here with the guttering. Alright, we're up here on the roof, or on my ladder top looking at the gutter, and I wanted to show you something. You see how there's a gap back here? That's because that board pushed out, it ripped these screws out of here. These screws aren't in all the way, all the way. See how that one's even out, see that? So what I'm going to have to do is, probably from that screw starting, Every one of them, I'm going to have to take the screw out, move it over, replant it in another spot, and continue all the way through. And the spots like this one we'll have through the gutter, I have guttering sealer. And I'll put guttering sealer on so it doesn't. As you can see, look at the roof material that's on here. It's been bedding in this area because it was a low. This was a low area. Let's see if we can't see it. Oh... You kind of can. It's high here. Right around here, the gutter starts to fall down. And then right about in that area, it goes back up. So, that's what we got to do. We're going to resecure re the gutter. And I see down there, the gutter looks like it's rolling a little bit. The very end, the last 15 feet. You know, there's a drain down there. So, but I need to go see and resecure and see what's up. But I'm going to say right now, I'm going to have to do screws 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'll have to pull 10 out and reset them. Okay. Yeah, I continue to work without videotaping, but I can show you. Uh, that end's all done. Now, believe it or not, um, a lot of the screws were broke. So I had to run into the hardware store and get a special screw that goes through metal and into wood. But I also noticed that that end, that corner, is separating. So I've got this hook. I mean, I've got the drill. I'm going to go ahead and drill into that corner piece and pull that one together. And then we'll go from there. But I'm going to take a look up top. And I'll show you when I get up here, too, on um, the screws and what the procedure was. And I have not looked down this end yet, so I'm going to look down here and see if I see any loose or if I need to mess with it. Make today a gutter day. All right, let me get up there. Oh, as you can see, I, I drilled that, I put that screw in, I brought that corner nice and tight, so that's great. Before I wanted to get to this before something bad happened. Now, there's your screw right there. You can see that's new. I put in one, two, there's three, four new screws right here, and I'll show you what they're doing. I got a pocket full. 
I'll just grab a couple. They're actually breaking. So I'm putting new ones in. Take out the ones that are already out and replace them with new. Now I was looking down this end down here at all the other screws. I don't see any out. Everything looks nice and good all together. But I noticed that the fascia board, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of hard. It looks like about a two foot out, three foot away, it has a bow outward. And uh, I don't know if it was just a, a bow or I could see it. I'm trying to stop stuff happening. Well, well, there you go. Right there. See, when the wood dries, you just don't know how it's going to go. So what I need to do is get another one of these screws. And I'm going to screw it in that way. And we'll tighten up. I'm looking all the way down the rest. They all look good. All right, I put that other screw in. That big, long screw, lag screw. And that brought that nice and tight, just like everything else. So we're looking good. All the way through looks great. I checked across the whole back. Looks really good. Um, on that uh, southwest corner, I need to go check all that over there. This is 100%. That north side's 100%. This looks good. Um, I did look at the guttering on that this past weekend, and that all looks good there. So everything I did there did, came out okay. So one more section I need to check, and we'll go from there. So I'll, I'm going to go over there and go check that out, and let's go let's see what we got. All around, all the way around the whole house, um, I've checked all the screws, readjusted all the gutters. It's all secured. Um, I bought 40 new screws, gutter screws. Um, but these were uh, galvanized. The other ones were like a pot metal. And I think I have maybe three or four left. So that's how many screws that were broken. And of course, if they're broken, you've got to relocate your bracket to another spot. So anyway, guys, it's good that you can all check your gutters. Make sure they're hanging good. And uh, if it wasn't for my wife, I mean, really, because it, it was raining at night. And she loves to sit outside at night was watching everything and she said water is pouring over the front and yeah so i'm glad she caught it uh, it's all fixed it's all done and um so we're good with all that all right y'all have a great day we'll talk to you later thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i appreciate it and uh y'all have a great day thanks again